Happy Halloween. <laughs> Hey everyone, SMG here, and welcome back to our video. We're gonna be checking out the Nintendo Treehouse Live October 2020. It's gonna start really soon. Oh, it's one. Yeah, make sure you watch your original link, subscribe to Nintendo. Let's get into this. Make sure you like, subscribe, ring the bell, and let's get into this right now. Here we go. Starting soon. Also, gonna check my FPS. Uh, while I'm at it. Because I want to make sure this is, like, good. It's probably going to drop a few frames, but, uh, if that happens during the presentation, I apologize. During this recording, I really apologize if it does skip frames and you... Oh, it's starting. Here we go. So, sorry, really sorry if it's Hi, really I'm laggy. JC from the Nintendo Treehouse, and this oh, we're starting with Nintendo Pikmin, alright. Um, Nintendo Treehouse Live is a way for us to give folks a sneak peek of some of the games and projects. Pre-recorded because of COVID. Um, All right, that's that's fine. Two projects to show you today. Um, later in the program, we're going to give you a look at Hyrule Warriors: Age of Calamity. But first, we do want to give you a look at a game that we, you know, it's very very near and dear to us in the Treehouse, which is mm -hmm. Pikmin 3 Deluxe. And who better to show us through a Pikmin game than my man Corey? So Corey and I are going to take you through a little bit of the main or adventure story mode, if you will. Never uh, played Pikmin 3, but uh, looks interesting. So, Corey, want to kick us off? Yeah, thank you. It is my pleasure to talk anything Pikmin. Whoa. Um, as you mentioned, JC, we are showing Pikmin 3 Deluxe today. And right now we're in story mode, probably about five Hey, that minus uh, uh, key looks like uh, uh, that minus key right here, and I am um, one of it, like at the bottom left. Here. Um, Pretty sure that's from the uh, Wii U port. Generally, what the story is is three uh, Alf and two Explorer companions of his. And the same uh, thing for the hints. Pretty sure. Planet. Well, duh, it's like a Wii U port, so I don't think uh, it's like. Kind of um, getting back together again, finding the other explorers, but also finding food for their planet. And they meet these Pikmin creatures on the planet, which are adorable plant like creatures we can see here that are very curious, they're very loyal, and mm -hmm. you'll be using them throughout uh, your adventure. So um, I just called a few red Pikmin out of the base here. Um, and you notice I'm right. skipping a few of the um, kind of uh, prompts. I'm going to be doing that a little bit throughout this uh, just in order to uh, keep the flow going as well as not to spoil the game for, for everyone as well. So, um, But as I move my left stick around, you're able to see that I control my Explorer. I really and hope this laptop, laptop doesn't crash because it's, it's really loud right, right now. So, if I'm all the way out of range, so that doesn't happen. But hey, yo, Pikmin three looks amazing. If the deluxe version looks amazing. Button where the cursor is located, you'll toss a Pikmin to that location. And if you toss a Pikmin near something like this flower pellet over here, Fuck on throw. You'll see that the Pikmin automatically starts to carry it back to his base, which is called an onion. And we're gonna see some sprouts pop out of the top there, and then go into the ground which is the way Pikmin propagate. So if you want to get more Pikmin on your squad, you just want to bring things back to their base and then pluck the new Pikmin out of the ground. Um, I've been nice. using the control stick to control thus far. Uh, the cursor. Looks amazing. So what I'm going to do now briefly is just pause the game and switch over to motion control uh, to control the cursor just because that's a personal preference of mine that um, I started to like a lot more uh, on the Wii U release, but it is... Totally optimal yeah. for player preference on how to control That's fine. the pointer. So that red pointer where you see 23 is now being controlled with just a little bit of motion now. So Oh, well, it's motion yeah. control, so you can basically use the Joy-Con. trying to reunite with our fellow explorer, Brittany. And if I pause the game using the minus button, we can see that there's sort of a radar uh, being uh, pulsating over here across the water. So it looks like I need to somehow cross the water to reach Brittany. But... If I try to take the direct approach and just go through the water, we're finding out that the game uh, tells us that red Pikmin uh, are not able to go into the water. Uh, water is lethal to them. So fortunately, I can use my whistle with the B button and whistle all of my Pikmin back to land. So uh, we, because the Pikmin are so helpful throughout my adventures, you really do grow a bond to them, and you do not want to uh, lose even one. But... Yes. There's a, a uh, little creature over here that wants a lunch too. So yeah, it looks I'm hungry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> these yellow uh, 
yellow things that you'll come across are memos, which can often give you a brief hint on how to uh, to go about your uh, your adventure here. So it recommended me tossing a Pikmin on the back of that creature, which if I toss a couple more, we'll be able to carry that creature back to the base to get more Pikmin. And uh, actually nice. toss so you can carry it. on this. Oh, nice. These bridge tiles as well. Let's get it. What we're able to see is even though I can't well, you need 13 for that. the water yet, if I collect enough bridge tiles with my Pikmin, they'll be able to build this bridge. So while they are bringing those tiles to the bridge, I can see that there's a few more bridge pieces across this wall, but I need a bridge. Shit, my CPU so is, is already at Pikmin almost wall, 60 CPUs. I'm going to start go dropping slowly, frames. So <laughs> if I want to speed up the process, we throw more Pikmin at the, at the All right. job. And that's Meanwhile, what it goes fast. You just throw a Pikmin. Pikmin. Collecting these tiles. Looks like uh, my Pikmin also brought back that carcass from the, the small little creature, so we were able to get even more Pikmin. And we'll throw these new Pikmin at the wall to make it go even faster. You know, this whole thing about Pikmin, uh, I do want to talk a bit more about that because I think it's really interesting. Um, you know, these Pikmin, you think about it, right? You pluck them out of the ground. And these big eyes just trying to figure out the world, and they're kind of relying on someone to tell them what to do. So, as you can tell, all these Pikmin have like a single focus when you tell them what to do. And you know, from their perspective, it's like, okay, well, I should follow this 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 thing, this living thing that's telling me what to do, right? Uh, but at the same time, you know, it's kind of curious about you, open eyes, full of wonder. You know, uh, it, it's kind of relying on you to kind of help to help it, right? And so I feel I feel kind of bad because you know at at times you may encounter some enemies and Pikmin may uh, <laughs> um, what's the word uh, die uh, and uh, that sound is absolutely yeah bring all your Pikmin I do back. Not wish that on anyone. However, um, if you put Pikmin in a bad situation, it's kind of your fault. It's not theirs. Uh, so take care of your Pikmin. That's the that's the story. It's like a Tamagotchi. And I had to go back and collect them. As you mentioned, they were single-minded, so once they're done with a the task, they kind of just wait for the next one. Alf is like, so alright, let's sneak up. Let's sneak up on it. Whenever they complete their tasks. And we're coming up against a, uh, our second creature of the game here, which is a larger version uh, of that bulborb we saw, that creature. And as I creep around here before waking them up, I did want to point out another one of the fun <laughs> features of the game, which is the in-game camera. At any time, you can push the minus button to pause and uh, kind of just uh, see the world from your explorer's uh, eyes, which is that pint-sized view. So we've got, uh, oh, this Pikmin just looking at me <laughs> waiting for his next door. <laughs> hey, buddy. Um, but it's a fun way to take, it pic take pictures. On Pikmin are too cute, man. As well as almost feel like you're kind of on this nature safari. Um, while this enemy is sleeping, instead of tossing my Pikmin one at a time, I'm going to use a different feature, which is called Charge, which if you lock on and press the X button, will send them all, all of your Pikmin in your squad uh, at the creature or object at once. Um, so all Pikmin. And that can be all right. very useful if you've got a large squad you're wanting to them to, to do. Take an can you, like, at one time. pick it up? Um, you can use that on the uh, walls as well, for example. And uh, you mentioned that you just used that feature a couple times. I do want to point that out because I really, really like that feature, which is the lock-on feature. Um, if you're familiar with the Pikmin games, you'll kind of remember that there was no lock-on feature. You had to kind of manually aim, aim kind of do it. But by tapping the ZR button a couple times, you can cycle through targetable items on the screen. And so it can make kind of tossing and moving your explorer a lot faster just by kind of swapping, hot swapping. You're going to figure out that body? Target, so I really dig that. Never mind. And I think the cycling through the different um, objects and enemies is the thing that really helps me. When <laughs> Looks like Brittany just uh, fell. Objects or you're in a tight space. So we're, uh, we're, we're coming across Brittany. We're getting a little bit closer to her. We are seeing that fortunately she's okay. All right, she's um, all right. Landing just uh, you know made her take a little bit of a nap, and she needs a to be rescued now. She's kind of still trapped in here. Oh, she was asleep. That's why. I like that language you're speaking. Yeah, the explorers do speak a different language, so uh, fortunately we as the players can see the uh, the subtitles there. Very cute language. All right, so uh, Brittany noticed that there was some fruit nearby, which we will see just as we round the corner. A strawberry, oh. which looks much larger in this world to us because we as the explorer and the Pikmin are so tiny. 
And uh, because my explorer cannot jump, the only way to reach this item is that. It's the like Pikmin ladder? Oh, oh never right. mind. So, um, you see that number three on the bottom. That indicates that the uh, minimum number of Pikmin required to move the object is three. But you can throw a few more if you want the object to move a little bit faster. Well, duh, will yeah. They know instinctively the Pikmin to bring that back to the base. Mm -hmm. So I can leave them on their own and they'll they'll get it back there. And, um, Goddamn the stream is on and locking. Brittany, we need to get past this wall, but we're finding that this wall, Red Pikmin, can't break down. And so another new feature um, that I wanted to showcase here is these optional hints that have been added. So if a newer player, um, you know, got stuck or just wanted to know what to do next, you can push up on the plus control pad, and that's going to show um, some hints. And then even, in addition, some arrows on the ground just to let you know where to go. So it's guiding me to a nearby cave here. Well, that's just going to be for kids, because uh, if I ever get this game, it was like, all right, forget about it for now, just continue on. That kind of indicates how much time, uh, you know, Corey has what to is get that thing? Paths, uh, because, well, let's just say nighttime is not very nice to Pikmin. Uh -oh. uh, you want to make sure you get them out of there uh, before sundown. And, uh, you know, that actually ties into the hints also. So if this is the first time for you um, playing the game, if you really just want to make the most out of your day and you want something, you know, some kind of hint, feel free to use them. And just, uh, it'll help you kind of explore different ways and different methods that maybe you weren't aware of. We got the Rock Pikmin! And... After defeating this enemy, we discovered that there were some a new type of Pikmin that were actually inside that creature. Uh, these are rock Pikmin. And um, we uh, didn't go into detail earlier, but each Pikmin type will have their own specialties. So we're learning here that rock Pikmin... Oh, they the can... That's how you get through that. All right. Blast, which red Pikmin would not. Um, later on, you'll see that blue Pikmin are the only Pikmin that can go in the water. What's that thing? It's a new boss, is it? It's another boss, huh? Oh, it's an onion! So now that we've got that enemy defeated... Oh no, there's another one. ...basically sprout a few more rock Pikmin. So I'm gonna ask those rock Pikmin to... Bring it Yesterday's to foes is now today's food. ...rock Pikmin out before we continue our adventure. And again, one of those... The really hard paws, like rocks. A little game tip. I love the adorable kind of 2D artwork on those as well. All right, so we've got our rock Pikmin. We've got our red Pikmin. I feel confident we can head out of this cave now. Oops. Got our red and rock. Red rock. Red rum, red rock. I don't know. So this wall that we could not break down earlier, again, if I try to throw a red Pikmin, we'll see that nothing really happens. But if I push the L button... I swapped between Pikmin types and can now throw uh, rocks, Pikmin, and we're seeing them break down the wall. And it's broken. Using my whistle to nice. gather my Pikmin back. And Brittany, finally we found you. Let's get you out of there. Let's break down this glass wall as well. There we go. Brittany. A celebratory back that they just did. <laughs> <laughs> she is super happy to no longer be confined. <laughs> so now that they've uh, reunited here, um, I'm able to use both Brittany and Alf at the same time. And Alfie. The first kind of, uh, That's kind of cute. The game will teach you. It's Let's work together and nab that uh, huge piece. It's a giant lemon. Party members, but or it's just a regular size lemon because they're so small. Perspective. So having Brittany. Throw me. You can toss her over a gap, toss her some Pikmin, and then uh, at any moment... I'll take it from button, here. You can push the Y button and skip, uh, uh, switch to Brittany, and then we're going to see that she's able to, since she's on a higher elevation, throw some Pikmin up to reach that lemon. And if I were on a lower elevation, I'm going to whistle really quickly once they get this lemon down, um, we would see that if I tried to throw red Pikmin that high, they would not be able to reach that high. So um, there are there are points throughout the game where you will need to split up your squad and maybe throw one over a gap or over water. Yeah. But 
since uh, since we do have two explorers now in the game, both Alf and Brittany, uh, JC, I thought it could be a good time to uh, for you to hop in since uh, with Pikmin 3 Deluxe, it is the first time that two people can play the story mode together. Uh, at any time, you can just pause, go to play co-op, and uh, JC, you want to hop in? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Cool. Of course, okay, he's got the JC, Splatoon JC, controller. Is it a Splatoon JC, controller? JC, me on the left, JC on the right. Uh, JC doesn't have any Pikmin right now, so I'm he lonely. can't really Give me do some. much on his own. So I'm going to throw some red Pikmin your way, and Thank you'll just you. have to whistle at them, and they'll be in your party. Appreciate that. And I'm going to keep charge of these rock Pikmin, and let's just keep making our way forward. There's some creatures up here that are carrying crystals, which uh, can be a little dangerous to the Ah, so he gets the rock Pikmin, and he gets the red. Before I, the I like that. Pikmin squad comes in. All right, they are, Appreciate that. They are gone. So so I'll, gonna... I'll take these uh, bridge tiles over here and start building because I yeah there's a bridge so I'll, I'll start doing this. Okay, there is a bridge we found and JC is gonna get one side and I found some bridge tiles on the left that need to be carried back but it was in a sort of. I'm also checking if you guys there. see me like so looking this way I'm just checking to make sure the frames don't drop on my OBS. Which is but I'm I am paying attention to this at the same time. And it's fun working together. So I'm gonna. Looks like I've got seven more bridge tiles to go, and we will have this bridge completed. Take your tiles, man. Come on, Rock Pikmin. And I did time that appropriately to make sure that I wanted the red one. So I get. I'm just taking pen, uh, take, paying attention to the left side of the screen. Looks like they've got it. Final piece is in place, and and there it's right. there. So now that we've got the bridge, I'm just gonna whistle to make sure I've got all of the uh, kind of idle Pikmin in my party. And actually, I'm taking some. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. You threw some Pikmin on some enemies and some. Uh, yeah. Don't lose so frames. Please don't lose back. frames. And as we make our way back. Um, you're going to notice that we're actually back where we started. I want so my F bridge, FPS to be at a solid 30. <laughs> uh, I'll go ahead and grab these red Pikmin since they're just standing there. And mm -hmm. We're finding a new wall that we couldn't actually break down earlier when we first started. So since I found rock Pikmin, I'm going to throw them at this wall. And we didn't talk too much about this earlier, um, but any piece of fruit that you saw, we got the strawberry earlier, um, you'll want to bring that back to your base. And the more fruit you collect, the more days you're going to be able to explore this world. So uh, that's how fruit uh, plays a role in the game's story mode. Uh, Brittany here is noticing that we got a new uh, radar more food. kind of detection from... I Elf see more of those Africa. yellow... Uh... She's recommending we go check it out. Hint or whatever. There's another tip letting us know that red Pikmin are fire <laughs> resistant. <laughs> uh, looks so defiant in the face of so fire. So if there's like a right? fire it's enemy, like, red okay, Pikmin. This, um, new here creatures here. All right. Oh, and I I did not oh, listen no. to that warning, <laughs> but uh, my red my rock Pikmin's lit up like a birthday candle, and he's freaking out. Um, similar to Pikmin, if they're drowning, whistle at them. Uh, as long as you calm down. at a Pikmin in peril, uh, as long as you it's in time, they'll come running back to you, and they will. Don't kill the Pikmin. They'll be okay. Um, here, it's just letting us know that we found some bridge materials, but this time it's on the opposite side of the water, so uh, there's going to be a. Instead little of bit pop rocks, of the rock Pikmin are called hot rocks. All right. Um, taking this. I also have some red Pikmin in my party, so rather than continuing to burn my rock Pikmin, I'm going to try to use my red Pikmin as well. Oh, thank you. Teamwork. I got you. Nice. Don't use the rock Pikmin. They're going to burn, so that's why you're supposed to be using the red Pikmin for the fire enemies. There is the bridge that we cannot And I would assume the blue ones are resistant to water and ice or whatever. I'm going to hold down the Y button, which will allow you to join my party. And then I can toss you over the water. And I can also throw some rock Pikmin over to you. Because I think you're going to need some rock and some red. Thank you. And oh, Just took all the rock. Just all the rock Pikmin are gone. Ooh, yes. Found them. And damn it, my 
FPS oh, just went. Just, I just I'm lost a few frames. Um, it's going to 30, 20, 30, 20, 30, 20. Come on. I'm just going to have a little bit of fun. This is why I need to upgrade my PC. Uh, or it's just supposed to be a work laptop, so it's really crap. So I'm going to have to, like, get a better computer. Uh, I'm getting a better computer later on, so that's good. Do some autofocus. Oh wow, they are just waiting for you to get your job done lounging. <laughs> yep. They need to take a regular guys screenshot. Guys love and support and all the other things. I love taking photos. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love taking photos. Okay. Okay. Bridge. Um, yeah, I think my folks are done on my side, so we're good. Actually, the one other mode I or the one other feature I wanted to showcase briefly is another new feature to Pikmin 3 Deluxe, which is called the Piclopedia. And here, um, any creatures that you come across in the game will get their own entries. And you can, uh, once you go in, you can tap on it and see different entries from different explorers in your party. So we've got Alf here uh, that's commenting on this dwarf bull borb. Since we've got Brittany, we can see her comments as well. There mm -hmm. are spaces for three additional explorers notes. So you can imagine that there will be some other fun notes to, uh, to read about as well. But um, I find that it's really fascinating to come in because each explorer has their own take on how they talk about the enemies and creatures you come across. So... Um, so yeah, that is probably enough story mode for now. Story. Um, There's more mode. I'll go ahead and pause the game and let's uh, let's switch over to another brand new feature to Pikmin 3 Deluxe called side stories. Uh, side stories. These sto are side quests uh, where you'll be able to see what Captain Olimar and Louis got up to prior to oh. the main story of Pikmin 3. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, before I forget, let's also talk about. I remember we mentioned the whole. Um, so that's where Olimar and Louis are. A certain limited amount of time um, in the day. Because, uh, like, all right, so this yeah, one's about Alf. What? Where's Olimar? Uh, for you. So that's uh, uh, yeah, there are so we're gonna about to see what's gonna be happening to uh, Olimar. Normal, hard, and there is even a ultra spicy difficulty setting, which uh, gives you only sixty Pikmin can be in the field at once as well as uh, some additional challenging elements. So for those that are familiar with Pikmin 3 or want a much bigger challenge, uh, that'll be right up your alley. But, mm -hmm. but yeah, for now, let's hop into a sneak peek of side stories, which I mentioned feature Captain Olimar. Yeah, Olimar, let's, let's get it. Story. And we're going to see Olimar here facing the camera. Um, sort of the background of this is that Captain Olimar... Uh, the company he works for is in debt yet again back on his home planet and his boss is sending him here looking for treasure to help the company get out of debt. Olimar is a very loyal worker uh, and will go to great... It's got like a deep voice I hear. Boston, uh, ...employer happy, so good for, uh, good for Olimar here. Uh, of course, o Captain Olimar was in Pikmin 1 and Pikmin, the original Pikmin and Pikmin 2 as well as Louis, who was his partner in Pikmin 2. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit less competent than Captain Olimar, who less you can competent. see here. But uh, still a very key member of <laughs> Olimar's team. Mm -hmm. Why is charm? Louis's got charm. Yeah, no, Louis's great. We, we love Louis. Um, but let's see here. All right. Tundra, so, day four. Uh, objective of this mission is actually going to be different from the story mode we were playing earlier because now the goal is just to collect as much treasure as we can in 12 minutes. And JC, of course, we've got you in here split, sc split screen right now, but for the moment, we'll just switch it back to solo play uh, for simplicity. And I will, uh, you know, I still do get to control both explorers, so I can still get all of Nice. I can also call the yellow Pikmin, uh, which we're seeing for the first time in this demo over. And we'll Pretty sure the yellow, all special. the yellow Pikmin are resistant to electricity. Got that's why. Where if I threw a red Pikmin at it, we'll see them get a little bit electri electrified, electrocuted. But the yellow Pikmin are immune or resist, immune or resistant, and they can start destroying it. So we will leave Louis there to keep an eye on our yellow Pikmin while we take our red Pikmin out into the rest of the map. And we saw this creature a second ago and learned that he's got kind of fire, fire breathing. But knowing that we've got our red Pikmin with us, we're not yep. about fire. So every Pikmin and has its benefits. Off, Rock can break glass. 
Uh, yellow is electricity immune, and these guys are fire resistant. And, uh, and since the Pikmin were nearby when he was defeated, they're just automatically going. Oh, that electrifying guy! Oh, blue. Um, and we found some wild Pikmin, in, uh, blue Pikmin in the wild here, so we'll just call them. But before we uh, hop in this water here, I'm gonna swap back to Louie to see what he's up to, and he's just plucking Pikmin and keeping an eye on those yellow Pikmin. So, all right, let's take our blue Pikmin into the water. Um, again, blue Pikmin are the only Pikmin that can survive in the water. We found a creature in here that's a little bit hard to see. But they can survive uh, ice, right, because they're blue as well. Ice is starts, blue. Totally starting to um, disappear. And Unless white Pikmin is for ice. Um, I don't know my I don't know my Pikmin you know, knowledge a lot, so treasure. comment down below if uh, if I get something wrong. I'll uh, I'll know for next time. Treasure back to the base. We're gonna see in our upper left the currency start to increase with our Pocos, which is the currency of Olimar and Louis' home planet. So that is my objective to bring back as much mm -hmm. treasure as we can. Looks like the yellow fence is almost done, but not quite. So. We will, uh, oh, we lost a Pikmin somewhere. What happened? Oh, no! Oh, no! Sound. I... You killed the Pikmin! Smart as I could have been. <laughs> you killed, like, three Pikmin, Pikmin, right? Because there are some... Uh, there's this creature down here that is electric uh, that I believe either got... either electrocuted my blue Pikmin or maybe ate them, but maybe both. took him out. Yeah, maybe both. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I can still throw blue Pikmin at him, but once he starts to generate electricity, you want to get away. Um, all right. I think we've got him. The blue Pikmin. All right. They're bringing him back. Blue here. and yellow are both doing their job. Let's, uh, head back here with him. Actually, Louis has got control of that, so I'm just going to... I see that there's a nine-minute time limit. Mark ...and find some more Pikmin on the stage. You know, I also noticed that you're walking by a couple of different fruit and stuff like that. And I also want to point out the, you know, pluck the different ways. Oh, you blue Pikmin. Awesome. Because, you know, from my perspective, if you have a large number of Pikmin, that really is a defining factor of how much you can grab. Because, of, you know, a large piece of fruit or a large item that requires a lot, if it's farther away from your base, you're not only going to need to... I wonder what Olimar's uh, doing. You know, have the number to carry that item but if you find something on the way back you're gonna need enough to like if you want spur of the moment just go pick it up you're gonna need to also have enough pikmin to pick up that item as well so i always try to memorize like where items are what i what did i see where did i pass it is there anything else on route that i could probably take the next time i come back um and so it also creates a really interesting kind of uh play mechanic where i'm kind of thinking about how could i do this better Right, it's like uh, I did it. I did it in this order last time. I'm mm -hmm. gonna try this. Uh, I'm gonna try this map one more time, and I know I can get more out of it. I know I missed that. I missed this. So lots of replay value here. And I can already tell you. Yeah, replay. Uh, uh, side like backtracking. You mean? Would not have wanted to do such as losing those blue Pikmin early. Trying so to like 100% this stuff. I would have done differently. But um, while I've got these Pikmin bringing back grapes, I'm gonna switch back to Louie here, just to make sure that I'm always. I always want to have my Pikmin doing something uh, in this mode because, again, you want to create that high score uh, and get as much treasure as you can. So, all right, we've got this gold. So that's it's so that's basically a side story. Okay. Pikmin are still working on the grapes. They're still working on the grapes. Keep an eye on them. Every time it reaches seventy-four uh, CPU, it just some idle Pikmin at base skips the video a bit. There That's fine. Are. Let's take them out for their next adventure. Give them purpose, Corey. <laughs> Ooh, and pluck some more Pikmin. All right. While they're yeah, get those Pikmin. While Pikmin are being plucked, it's always a good idea to switch to your other explorer. All right. Um, because uh, you can't. While while they're being plucked, there's not really much else that those guys can be doing. So all right. Got another creature here who's. Weakness is actually on his back because he's got this shell on the front. Let's see if we can just charge. Oh no! Let's that just... didn't go as planned. Oh no! 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 Let's just get away from that. Oh man! That's Not all sad. Pikmin. Why did you kill the the red Pikmin? Even though we bailed out of that battle, um, and that creature was like stab them. Creatures that are. This is a kids game. Come on! Uh, that you'll come across. Oh no! 
this one included, which, uh, yeah, let's uh, get away from those guys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I've collected 327 uh, Pocos or gold so far. Uh, this is probably a good point to uh, to end for now. I don't again. I don't want to spoil too much of these side stories. Yeah. Um, I guess this is the uh, end of the yeah, Pikmin demo. Uh, end here for now, but we've got one more mode that we wanted to. Oh, one more mode. Is All right. It's completely different from anything we've shown so far, and it is a one-on-one -on -one competitive mode called Bingo Battle. Bingo battle. Well, bingo battle, uh, you know, is definitely one of, I think, our favorite modes in the trios because it gets really, really heated. Um, you'll see in a second. Um, and the objective of bingo battle really is to fill out your bingo card. I'm going to be on the right side, Core will be on the left. And of course, if you're you know, familiar with bingo, uh, all you have to do is just make a line. Um, it could be vertical, horizontal, diagonal, any kind of line. And to fill out each of those little spaces, you have to collect either an item or an enemy to fill in that space. Sometimes there's multiple right. of an item, sometimes there's not. But if you take a look at the two cards in the bottom and the middle, um, you'll notice that there are the same items, but they are placed differently on each of our bingo cards. And uh, I, I am I'm not as good at this mode as Corey, so <laughs> I'm going to focus a little bit craft my strategy of what I want to focus on first and uh, yeah I can I can talk a bit a little about about what's going on right now since um, we start with only five Pikmin by default of course you can customize that but mm -hmm. because we start with five um, you're going to want to create a larger Pikmin squad as quickly as you can because the more Pikmin that you have in your squad the more that you're able to accomplish and the more that you're able to divide tasks if you need to divide tasks <laughs> like building a bridge or um, sending some to one area and some to another. Uh, JC pushed the minus button mm -hmm. to pull up the map, which either player can do. Um, if you're ever not sure where a specific item on the bingo board that you want to collect is, it's you know simple as pulling up that map to say, oh, I need to get a an orange. Then mm -hmm. where's the orange on the map? I'm going to go get that because that's what I need to complete my bingo card. Um, so... Um, I think what you're going to see JC and I uh, doing first is both there was and then, um, there see, was a tiny man side called side Alf and well. his so other uh, name was Bingo P I K M I N and Pikmin was his name oh maybe I don't know I don't even know what I'm saying and actually targeting the corners. If I target the corners, I, 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 I'm gonna have to like um, if you target corners, make a song about this. Maybe I don't know. You're able to get like a horizontal, vertical, and diagonal line all at the same time. Since there's a bingo battle, uh, yeah, maybe I'll make yeah, a bingo ba a battle song. Oh, you never to... know. Oh, so but I, it, so it's, it's highly unlikely I'm gonna do so. And JC threw some Pikmin towards me. Which started, uh, they, they kind of just start like. You're killing more Pikmin! Which is really annoying, um, but very effective, and I have to use the control stick to shake them off. Um, my Pikmin can defeat JC's Pikmin, which is nice, but um, oh. if our Pikmin do encounter each other. Um, oh, so the Pikmin are fighting each other, that's why. And, uh, oh, did they fight each other? Yeah, a bit? actually, it's on. Music, but <laughs> don't worry, sing, the songs will be sung of you, my friend. So it's basically okay. rival yeah, Pikmin Pikmin rivalry, honestly. Uh, yeah. I see, see that JC has an item actually from a roulette that he has, which is. I love me some Pikmin rivalry. He's able to use and drop on me, so I actually have to be really careful here. I'm being very quiet about it. <laughs> and now he, he just all right, he pointed it out, so that's fine. Okay, okay, okay. Gotta move, gotta think. Okay. And again, yeah, you do want to sometimes be aware of what your uh, opponent's up to in this uh, this game. Okay, so that's fine. Okay. Because they can be, JC can get pretty crafty at times. All right. I also want to say thank God my brother's not here. Otherwise, the Wi-Fi would have been chaotic. Strategizing by pulling some of these picks in, I found. Because he's probably gonna be playing his game. They are in the water, so now I'm gonna try and try and get some of these. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna grab these blue ones. Let's get you in the water. Yeah. Oh. I tried to. Uh, I tried to lure your red Pikmin in the water. No. <laughs> See if they would follow. Stay me. away from. Stay away from my babies. Okay. Babies. Oh, apple. There's an apple. So this is the first time I'm finding a cherry oh, item, which. That's probably uh, why. And there's a cherry too. Are, are free. 
uh, spin on the item roulette, which can often change the tides of battle. So I'm wanting to get as many of these cherries as possible. Back to my base. Take the cherries. Uh, all right, I've got a rock. So my cherry got me a free oh, this bomb rock, not good. which I, I can mean, throw I a Pikmin at this oh. rock. I also see that I, I didn't even notice, rock. but uh, the, uh, the different teams of Pikmin is, have so a blue uh, a blue uh, antenna, okay. and the yeah. on the oh, right they have like a pink oh, antenna, oh, so they know which team is which. Uh, we can use electricity oh. To just sort oh, you can like stun them for a second. Doesn't kill them, but uh, just freezes them uh, for like I picked up two the, uh, seconds this freezes it, it for like three seconds on, honestly item that's good which is uh this golden uh, object which if i use it will fill up a spot on my bingo card randomly god damn it my fucking um which, which yeah i'm a bit behind on this but it's no longer live but uh nope. at least i'm watching it i'm not gonna skip anything Okay. If it does it again, I'm not gonna skip anything. I don't want to lose. I don't want the quality to change on the video, and I don't want frames to drop on OBS. No. If I put this on for. Oh no. Oh, the one. Oh, I was staring at your screen. I'm sorry. Wow. Single Pikmin. If I win this map, oh, one Pikmin. Yeah, you're gonna lose. JC will never live it down. Oh, I do. Yeah. I mean, he has the back. He has like one, I, 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 one, one more I, I, of red, so he's gonna have to get more Pikmin. I had picky. Oh, more than one. Get more picky men. I need. Do these guys get more so eaten. Oh man. If I get distracted, maybe. Let it toss. It's fine. I just, oh, it's still shaking so much. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Come on. I need a cherry. Okay, dude, if I could just pick up. Where was that? I really shouldn't be checking this right now, but. Oh, that's right. All the enemies actually show up as those green um, green flashing dots. So I'm actually trying to find this guy. Go. Okay. Whew, the long, the long, long battle. Go, 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 go. Run! Run! Me and my buddy. You're my boy, my Blue. Blues. <laughs> Did we just say blue at the same time? <laughs> Take your son. Oh, that was exactly what I needed. Okay. Ten. So the item that I just got was a ten, uh, ten free Pikmin basically, which sprout at my base. Come on. Come on, this will work. This will work. But I need way more. JC looks like he just needs the. Red Bulborb and the Red Marble, which are... I mean, at least like he has the pi his Pikmin now. Yes. Oh, fuck. Yeah, why is it... Why is it... Why is it... Goddamn oh, FPS. This is happening. Nice. Oh, or it's not my so FPS. Good. Pretty sure it's the just... Oh, uh, I'm, sweaty. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Red Team wins. So what, what was... Yeah, I think uh, from my perspective, what really turned the tides there is I had about... I was about to defeat <laughs> both Bulborbs that I needed. But that mm. rock came down at just the inopportune moment, um, oh, and mm. I had just kind of oh. forgotten that JC still had that item. So yeah, well I done. Actually... <laughs> you used it at exactly the right time. This feels so good, um, guys. Okay. Um... JC feels way too good right now, so we're going to play <laughs> one more game. This one is going to be over in probably two minutes because I have way more incentive now <laughs> to not take it easy. I'm not saying I was taking it easy last time. Wow, two minutes. Uh, that felt so good. This oh is gosh. a much smaller stage, so JC and I are probably going to... Uh, All right, been recording to, for um, 39 minutes. Much quicker so than we did in the last game. Probably going to like so stop really recording like right before the Hyrule Warrior stuff. mistakes here. There's also uh, just a lot of... Uh, again, the, the map is small, so we want to be acting very quickly with our moves. Yep. And Corey, uh, uh, again, I'm probably gonna get some water after this, and then I'm going to. Uh, yeah, I'm probably just gonna get some water, and then maybe some snacks. Probably. This orange uh, bulborb enemy that you kind of uh, see here, um, that's sort of harassing me at my base right now. <laughs> wow, well, they said the they said the harass word in, in a Nintendo presentation. Which scares me because. Don't harass me.
come on. Uh, oh, that's a big one. I didn't see it. Oh, run. No. No, this is, no, this is bad. This is bad. All bad. So many. I found a dying Pikmin. Okay. I need to be smart about this. Don't kill the Pikmin! Okay. Get that back. Get some numbers. This is okay. Use the charge. Let's oh man, these get. Bulborgs are just hungry and... Wow, I do not like that they're on my side of the map right now. It's almost as if you sent them over here, but I know you didn't. I did not. Speaking of sending things over. You... Oh my gosh! So, oh, it's only nice no. to give gifts that... Uh, hey, at least it killed the Bulborg. Is that a golden strawberry? He sent me earlier. I wonder if that actually worked out in my favor, because at least... That's a golden strawberry. That's probably, uh... ...one of the only things on the map that exists, which is a golden <laughs> strawberry. No, not no, seeing no, 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 it totally no, no, at all. No, no, no. I have no you idea are... what you're doing. No, that's... Were you, uh, doing something? Block. Nope, we're good. Golden strawberry, you said? No, mine. I have numbers. But... <laughs> no! <laughs> so Why all I need now is a red strawberry, which... It looks like it is right behind my base, and so as long as... You might want to help the are, people who oh, are wow. taking the, yeah, so the red I strawberry. Give up. I don't need to worry about the golden strawberry because I've got my... You've got the other one. Oh. The red, delicious oh. sun Oh, so yeah, yeah they both won a round. That That's great. Two minutes, so that was a little... That was a, that was a speed... That was like a <laughs> mercy win right there. You it gets that was all right. Playing oh. bingo battle. Um, as you can see from a little bit of a taste, we absolutely love this mode. But... <laughs> Um, really, all the modes offer a little bit of a different type of game. Play, so, uh, we hope you're looking forward to checking out Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Be on the lookout for an eShop demo that will include oh, a demo to the full game. Um, and if you complete the eShop demo, defeat the last boss in the demo, um, you'll be able to start the full game with Ultra Spicy mode if you'd like that extra challenge. So again, uh, thanks for checking out a little bit of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Don't forget the game uh, itself comes out. And Cans of Hyrule uh, Awesome. Stuff. Thanks, Corey. Again, really appreciate it. Uh, thanks for letting me have that one win. Uh, <laughs> yep. That does not happen often. Uh, and again, I can't wait to play some more Bingo Battle with you, uh, you know, in October. So, coming up next, obviously, is... I'm waiting for this too, which is Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. So... Yup, here we go, boys! Thanks, JC. Thanks, Corey. Wow. Pick They're starting off right of away. Hi, everyone. I'm Kay from Nintendo Treehouse, and I've got my colleagues. Content pre recorded. Yeah, because of coronavirus, Before we I know. Before started, I'd like to acknowledge that we are doing this remotely. Uh, so there might be some technical home. limitations, but we're asking for yep. your patience and your understanding as we work as hard as we can to bring you an amazing stream. Uh, so today, mm -hmm. we're going to take a look at Hyrule Warriors Age of calamity which takes place a hundred years before breath of the wild so and yep. tells the story of the great calamity and the events leading up to it uh, so yeah which really we're going to tell you what happens 100 years ago action, and age of calamity is that 100 uh, years we'll ago so yeah a first look at Urbosa. oh Urbosa. we're going to see some Urbosa gameplay yes i am so <laughs> let's get uh, started. I'm, I'm oh my cool. god, she looks uh, amazing. I'm, uh, as Ubota right now, as you can see, and I'm actually inside the uh, digital town right now. And then it is a uh, high warriors game, so you will be using X and Y for them to do. Uh, it's really, oh, really uh, light. And then There's lots of light. A. Oh wait. Uh, must, but wait, is coming. Uh, right now, uh, <laughs> the beautiful town is under attack by Iga Krunk, but I don't want to talk about why they're here. Uh, you can believe I have to oh, actually you... defeat all three. So you're fighting the, the that's master. awesome that you're actually fighting so the Yiga clan, uh, to the usual at the Gerudo village. Action, I have to use, uh, have to use status for this. Yeet! And I can use, uh, Just yeet I them. use the stasis now. As you can tell, but uh, each character can use all four uh, different moves in different occasions. So uh, now it's locking like crazy, but it's fine. Him right now, so I'm gonna let Kay and Kindra talk about what's unique about. Boom! Great, thank you. No, so much. not like this. 
Yeah, or both. Uh, I'm also uh, great, really happy that uh, there's uh, some English and, uh, gameplay. As you can see, it's like it's we're not in Tokyo Game Show anymore. We're we're now at uh, doing some English um, Nintendo Treehouse gameplay. Has, uh, Let's get it. Ability to charge up lightning, uh, which is represented by the gauge at the top of the screen. Um, and yep, she's charging it right there. And once it's charged up, she can actually uh, use, use the lightning in addition to her strong Whoa. attacks to kind of strengthen those attacks and do some really character specific stuff with it. Um, Careful. She also uses lightning in her uh, weak point counters and in her special attacks. Um, and if, if I'm probably going to get this game can get the timing right after some of these big attacks where there's electricity lingering in the air, nice. she can um, charge up her electricity super quick, um, which takes a lot of skill yes. and a lot of timing, but it's uh, <laughs> very satisfying when you can pull it off. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm running and around to... and the town. And I just wanted to add, right. too, um, aside from the gameplay that you're seeing, well, first of all, Oh, wait. What's that? No, oh, my God. Oh, Korok oh, Seed. There's a Korok. There it is. Yeah, or, I mean, it's a Korok. The really Koroks <laughs> no! are in the stages that you can find. I thought uh, they're going to um, give us a Korok the Seed. that people get to play as Urboso, which is already super awesome. Well, duh, because um, playing as the champions are amazing. Familiar, I wonder if you're going to get yeah. Mifa and Revali gameplay soon uh, as well. Because so I already saw Daruk mm -hmm. gameplay at a uh, Tokyo Game Show. Um, but what I did want to say is... You can check out that video uh, to, uh, on my channel. It, it's somewhere on my channel. On these characters as well. um, you really get a good look at Urbosa's relationship to Zelda and also more information about Urbosa's relationship to Zelda's late mother. So, um, really? if you're like me and All you right. love to get to know the characters and get to know them in ways that you didn't get to in Breath of the Wild, this game is your opportunity to do that. Like, get some more information about, uh... That's right. It's, like, it's I guess we're gonna really see more backstory and stuff. In here, and a lot to see, and it's very Like, even fans. more backstory from, uh... What was it? Uh, we got more a lot of backstory in a ch a champion's a ballad, ballad so we should get even more yeah. backstory yeah. in this game. All right, and now we're taking a look at uh, Zelda's gameplay, which is Zelda. Very exciting. Um, as you can see, she uses the room a giant for bomb main attacks. Uh, in addition to being able to use them. Uh, just like everyone else, and she can uh, oh, nice. combinations of runes to take. So we got Zelda and Urbosa gameplay. That's awesome. Oh my gosh! <laughs> In a very unique way, it's <laughs> it's so cool to see Zelda being able to take out these guys. Yeah. And nice. For me, anytime. Zelda gets to I want to like get a hat on right now because uh, yeah, my headphones are actually kind of hurting my head for a bit. Zelda, it's pretty much a win. A win-win, yeah. Because Zelda and a Zelda well, game. Is that our like special yeah. attack? Boom! Well, she's really fun to play as in this one. <laughs> Boom! Nice work. And it basically nice just explodes. Work. I'm gonna try my best if I can try and get this game because this looks amazing. I also still need to finish up Paper Mario the Origami King, but it's kind of unlikely if I'm gonna finish that game. There's a bunch of. And for people who are new that's to a the fuck. Warriors that's screen, a lot of fucking uh, yigas. Holy some shit! Some screen that help guide you through the process of the gameplay um, and the action. Um, but defeat the clan that gives attacks with a lot of noises. So uh, I'm at this location, <sighs> and it looks like my um, objective is to defeat the enemy. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna get myself a hat. So I think I need to... Oh, I can't use it right now, but I will wait till my... My room fills up first, but... It's been a while since I wore this hat. 
Make some noise, Chico. Make some noise. <laughs> this guy's really getting in your yep. way. <laughs> so as you can see, uh, when you use the Sheikah rune, there is a little bit of a wait time for it to charge back up before you can use it again, mm -hmm. um, which is very similar to how it worked in Breath of the Wild. Oh man, that was that was a gorgeous takeout right there. Yeah. And the, the oh, cutscene! Shop, shut up! Lady, shut the fuck up! We're watching a cutscene. Uh, monster, <laughs> and there he is. Oh, What's that man. one monster? Look sure how lady, that I think he's beautiful. I forgot that monster's name. Yeah, he's too scary. Malduga, <laughs> that's what it is. I don't think I want to do this. Bye bye. <laughs> now let's go ahead and like. That's it. Uh, let's no, escape no, no. to the. Wait, main defeat main Master world. Kalga. <laughs> So, so wait, go Master Koga to, is. Uh, I, I just saw that flashing like right there. I saw yeah, defeat so Master Koga. So uh, you're gonna be fighting play, Master Koga in this game, uh, probably. Um, leveling up characters, strengthening weapons. Oh, the map! Unlocking things. Uh, it's just like Breath of the Wild. Very familiar. Holy shit! Map of Hyrule. Chico, do you want to tell us a little bit about? Dude, that looks so dope. Yeah, so, uh, that looks awesome, dude. Warriors game or maybe different uh, Warriors game, you might be familiar with how the menu looks like. You will go from chapter one to three type thing. Wait, and chapters? Actually, uh, go to different There's like chapters. Uh, also, it's going to be a gi uh, this gigantic uh, story. I mean, Wait. The, uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. The there's a two-player uh, mode too. I was There's a two-player so mode, bruh. That's awesome. And, There's even uh, a two-player <laughs> mode. I'm gonna probably play with my brother, maybe, uh, when if he wants to. Pages, you collect a lot of different type of materials. So do, using it says two-player mode right can, on the uh, top, uh, bottom left. On the map, like the stables, uh, at the training ground, and uh, and even like you know different dishes uh, you can cook type thing. So one of the things so you I can cook to there too. Is, you can travel. Uh, here, I can't. Uh, it's it's like Breath of the so Wild. So it's a high warriors game. So you will be collecting a lot of different weapons while you are in the stage. Oh, uh, and you can like oh you Wild, can collect rupees you know, and make your uh, weapons even you know, stronger, uh, dude. This is a fucking uh, game. This is a fucking game. I I need this right now, actually. Holy shit. So, I actually yeah, have the money for it, so I'm probably gonna save up my money for it. There's other different type of weapons I can get and different, you know, way to use it. So I wanna use. Uh, I'm definitely gonna save up my money for this. And then uh, fuse them with all the materials I got so far. Probably gonna go to EB Games and uh, probably uh, pre order this. But you will not neglect. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> I remember this. Oh, I remember that sword that from, uh, yeah, the game. Okay? I remember this. <laughs> no, use it. Use it. Okay. So, oh, yes, it's okay. you can use up to five different weapons and then you can Up to uh, five uh, weapons. Uh, All right. Oh, you can level them up. In the stage too. Wait, can you now level them up? I have up? my uh, sledgehammer leveled up to five, so I can use that. Um, another thing is the material I just saw all the characters, so, so I kind of missed that. So I'm gonna have to like rewatch it or something. Probably not gonna rewatch re it, but I'll do it. You need the material either. Five, six, so I see the dot dot dot. Is that like a? Are, are those all like side quests or some some shit? I don't know. So I can earn the recipe for chili fish skewer. Right, and the recipe that can't they, they said to, uh, this basically went like da 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 da. <laughs> before you go into battle. Um, and there are a bunch mm -hmm. of different types that have different effects, so it's pretty fun to collect them and see what they do. Yep, they and, also. Uh, have, oh, and you, um, you can yeah. even making a monster. <laughs> yeah, so by defeating monsters and getting those materials, uh, you can also turn them into these other. Uh, quests which you can use to unlock uh, bonus combos or extra health or uh, nice. other such Wait, things. Um, other combos? But the thing I really like about two handed weapon is that they have little stories um, that go along. There's with them. some something um, about a nuclear, there's services, the system, menu, move, zoom. Or, 
Um, then there's two player the mode. Did, for example, so there's, there's basically a, a co-op uh, mode as well. In Hateno Village, who wants to build a monster dummy so that they can practice uh, using a two-handed sword. And so Link actually brings the materials to make the dummy, creates this dummy, helps them build it, and then they train together. And that's how Link is able to come up with an extra uh, move that's for cool. his. Hey, his my sword. boy! Look at my boy! Um, and I love it because Link's from Hateno Village. Uh, so it's a very cute glimpse into his life. Yeah, the world building so, is really excellent. All oh, right, because in Hateno Village, uh, Link has his own house. In this two -handed, I mean, Sledgehammer is basically a two-handed sword type. So uh, I'm going into the training mission. Where this game I looks too to good. This, this game is way too good. How the two-handed sword. Look at my boy Link. Look at my boy Link. So I changed my Level 18. Head. And so yeah, you can, can level up in this game. game. You can uh... yeah. yeah, you can uh, unlock You can have naked Link! You can be naked Link! Through the game. And you can uh, equip or, I guess, unequip them uh, as... and dress him up. Yo, naked Link! Naked Link confirmed! What are you talking about? Naked Link confirmed! Training attire. <laughs> And There's so much in. The they're showing so much of this game. They're putting so much stuff in this game. It's just amazing. So I can use that. I'm right. sold. I, I want this right now. React differently to the uh, dishes that you cook for them, um, and some characters even have. Like literally yesterday, we got Pura and Robbie and as young versions of Pura, of, of Pura and Robbie. So it's a lot of fun to try out a bunch of different recipes. So. And see uh, and they're already showing this treehouse right after, like a day after yeah. and the Robbie and Pura uh, trailer. Stream, you might have seen the uh, cutscene where it's showing the tower actually raising from the ground. And uh, oh, I like that you got all these people right there. It's kind of like the uh, whenever he goes to the loading screen. Mission. So, so twenty nine side quests and have, like, six main quests. And are those supposed to be five shrine quests? So, yeah, this is basically Breath of the Wild uh, Zero, basically, because right. um, so, yeah, a great it's, peak. It it's a, it looks like an awesome prequel. <laughs> hey! Don't judge me. <laughs> I mean, uh, there's no the judgment. It's sort of a lot of If work. anything, I just feel <laughs> bad for Link. <laughs> no, you know, Whoa! Like, there's less quite fabric a to get in the way while he's around. fighting. <laughs> Yeah, so as you can see, this Crap. is a training level, so you're fighting. <laughs> my FPS went down. It was at 17, um, 23. Oh, fuck my you can FPS. Uh, which, uh, yeah, I'm, you know, aesthetically. I'm, I'm lagging a little bit. It's going to be like, uh, I'm going to be like 10 FPS though. reaction. Um, <laughs> yeah, in this game, it's, it's slower, but more. Highly in Captain. Um, but the uh, fun, fun thing about it. Wait, is why do you have to attack the captain? <laughs> He can uh, use the unique action to strengthen his strong attack. It's no use we um, give up. In exchange, up. he takes a little bit of temporary damage. Wait. Um, like I'm sorry, that. we and, must retreat. Uh, in order to heal that temporary damage... <laughs> oh, wait, it says training. Of, oh, so it's just for training. Oh, I, I was like, did they come possessed? Why are they evil? But they're just training opponents. Okay. Yeah, let's yeah, see I love the animation go. for him eating. Let's, let's yeah. get Para she'll do it. Paraglider. Paraglider. I just saw that paraglider. Oh, no, get get no, no. some enemies. Oh, no. So, not quite. Okay, so, but one so of you have to defeat 400 is in, uh, is it five minutes? And according to the timer? And some enemies, then we will see what happens. And hopefully, <laughs> I'm recording for almost an hour. I show you that because I love it. Nom nom nom. Yeah. Nom nom nom. Yeah. Ah, bam! <laughs> fucking <laughs> Thor, <laughs> like, freaking uh, Infinity <laughs> War <laughs> Thor <laughs> up in this bitch. Instead of I bring me Thanos, it's bring me fucking Ganon. This game as part of the actual uh, fighting style for the two And of course, you have Egg Boy right here. You can't forget about little Egg Boy. And fuck my FPS again. A uh, stockpile of apples or something in <laughs> my inventory, so I could chow down when I'm being blown back by a strong attack that did lots of damage. <laughs> also, guys, if you guys are experiencing yeah, difficulties in the, in the recording, or apples, in case like this gets corrupted or something, I don't even know. But <laughs> I'm really sorry if this is lagging or has 
FPS. I need to get a better com computer, that's for sure. Oh, like, yeah. the highest FP- I'm, like, below 80 CPU. I'm trying not to, like, get that much FPS. And BAM! That is such a cool attack for Link. HMK is probably popping off right now. HMK is probably nutting to this. Because he wants to play as Link. Half of the time remains. So, it basically- It's very cool to see what it looked like. So it's maybe- it's probably six minutes. Yeah, and nice Chico, maybe you can show us um, some light lightning rod action. Lightning rod. What? Hold the whole. Oh yeah, we did get to see the ice rod before. Yeah. Whoa. That one. <laughs> nice. You can do it. It's lagging even more, but it's fine. So as you can see, what. She's Quality's dropping like crazy. Point gauge comes out. Um, the big strategy against these stronger enemies is to uh, cut down that weak point gauge and create an opening so you can do. Nice, uh, nice. Very powerful. Nice one. A little bit more. <laughs> Fuck, why are you lagging so much? I have it at 480p, come on. I love <laughs> the two-handed sword so much. Yeah, the two-handed sword is pretty favorite. cool, honestly. It's so satisfying. You're almost there. You have like one minute left. Slam through all of these enemies, you know, these you got like nine, thousands of enemies. You, almost, you got like 60 seconds. And also to like take a little break to have a snack here and then. It's a lot of fun. Absolutely. Oh, this is my favorite one. I'm hoping we can. Uh, I know your favorite is the. Show some flurry rides. Careful, you need 50 people. Oh, of course. <laughs> I'm trying. Yeah, I oh. suck on this thing. I think he's gonna make it. I think she's gonna make it. I mean, sorry, because uh, there's a female playing. You need to find another one of those captains. Oh, this is where he's gonna do that slash attack again, and bam, yeah. <laughs> and nice. success. Oh yeah. Wait, you have to fight the rook. You fight Daruk! You have to fight Daruk! <laughs> you there, let's rumble. You get to fight Daruk in this game. You have to do a 1v1. Sorry, little guy, but I'm itching to fight. So he's challenging us to a battle. You have to fight Daruk in this game. Holy shit. That's awesome. I believe in you. Oh my goodness. There is oh my so gosh. much information in this. That Holy looks shit. Like a little bit of rough play for training. I'm already popping off. I think we're training very seriously. Cool. What are the odds? You already yeah, defeated yeah, well, Daruk. Wow. We made very quick work of Daruk. Training has ended. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> all right, let's cut away from Victory. this for a second. We have one other Oh, thing so you're just like training with the new weapon. Uh, That's it. Got set it up, though. What else? Set up what? I Tell me! It. I love Daruk. He's so great. He's such a well, and it's really fun character. Daruk's kind of my boy. Yeah, and it's really He's my cool G. to see all the various characters, you know, that we know and love from Breath of the Wild, but seeing them in this different setting and seeing all of their special moves and how those differ. I do, I do really like seeing that, and I'm excited for what we're about to show you as well, you, the viewers. <laughs> what are you going to show us? Yeah, it's, it's great. It's, it's an amazing thing that they've done with this game to uh, bring us into this era, you know, pre-Calamity, and show us all these characters and show us the interest kisses of how they interact and how they uh, perform in battle, um, mm -hmm. stuff that, that I think... Personally, as a fan of Rest of the Wild, I wished for so hard. Also, those collectibles and that and photo of so Herberto. So. And that fun. plush that plushy too. Yeah. Holy and, crap. And not to not to bring the soup ladle up too much, but I do want to say <laughs> I love that they included that they included the soup ladle, you know, that they're they're bringing it back and we see the soup those ladle. same touches from Breath of the Wild in this game. And Chico Everything from Breath of the Wild, but a hundred so years ago. You really could, awesome. you know, equip that soup ladle. If you wanted a serious challenge, you could fight with the soup ladle. 
Seriously. You could you know, use yes. weapons from your own adventure. It'll be stronger. Yeah. <laughs> you can make the weakest weapons I, I a bit love stronger. It. I love it when you use oh, Young Impa! A spotlight as a shield, too. Young Impa, let's go! All right, so oh, we're nice. looking at Impa now. Yeah, ah! so what I want to show is in the distance, but I need to take care let's of these go. guys first because these guys are just in nice. my way. Let's get it. <laughs> Okay. Ah! So obviously this is a new um, depiction of Impa um, that we're seeing here, but Chico is about to show us just what Impa is capable of in the gameplay. I love her. I love Impa. So Impa's much. really cool. I think she's so much fun. Mo so Moblins are so are mini bosses as well. Different. Eyes. Is she gonna do that clone thing? She's no, it's so a so fucking she's big she's frog. Like what the fuck? <laughs> and then, did I just see like a Hinox right there? Yeah, he, a Hinox is right there too. That was an impressive use of the electric rod, I have to say. You have to hit him by, by the eye too. Oh, we have a Hinox. <laughs> I love it. So yeah, as I was saying, absorb like symbols. Being able to absorb those those symbols to create the clones and then strengthen the strong attack when she has all of her clones out is. Uh, it's really fun. Did the Hinox actually, uh... And timing. <laughs> nice. And you can see her, uh... Her Sheikah rune usage does differ from the other characters we've looked at today. Too. Wow, the Hinox is not, not doing crap. Okay. Oh. You can do it! Defeat the Hinox and key oh, enemies. So, we discussed earlier the, uh, usage of runes in order to create openings to counter uh, strong enemies. Um, and it's even more important that you do that when fighting That's way important. Big, uh, monsters, too, because uh, if you get the timing right on these... Oh, I just like heard that, Impa say stasis. You can create great dramatic uh, openings for yourself. This is too and good. I need it. Really is I need this game. Weak point smashes in because they do so much damage. Oh, what's this? And it oh! Can really make it easy to. Uh, That's another easier, good portion of the health. Say, to take these guys out. To take out the four Hinox that was just having a nap, minding his own business. He can roll two and do a belly things. flop as well. All right, attack, attack, attack! I would be grumpy yo, yo, I'm gonna have too much fun. If I ever get this game, I probably will. I'm gonna have too much fun with this game. I just know it. Nice work. She goes making short work of this guy. She really is. I love that. She's doing the paraglider now, and I apologize. <laughs> and apologies for the the lagging. The maniacal laughter. This, yes. I need a better computer. <laughs> and I can't go to my other house because nice. family things. Cool. And boom. All right, I think that's all, right, all the time that's... we have left for today. Let's stop uh, beating up on this poor Hinox and let him go back to his nap. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. you filled that. You filled Thanks this miss for mission. In. Uh, this was Hyrule Warriors: Age of Calamity, which released that was it? Friday, November. All 9th. right. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. We sure did. <laughs> yep. And uh, have a great day. Bye bye. Later. Bye. Koei Tecmo. And that was it. Thank you for watching. Holy crap, that was amazing. Let's pause this right now. Um, I want to see what the chat's saying right now. There you go, now it's a smooth uh, 30 frames. That's it, no smash! <laughs> no, no motherfuckers, there's no smash in this game. Bring bowling game back who cares about Zelt? of course who the fuck is Juan yeah exactly who is Juan Ugh, fucking Nintendo fans I swear to god anyway guys uh yeah I'll see you guys next video make sure you watch the original link subscribe original Legend of Link, or it's gotta say, 
<laughs> watch the original Calam- no, original Champion link down below. And make sure you subscribe to Nintendo, and make sure you like, subscribe, ring the bell. This is an amazing uh, Nintendo Treehouse. Anyway, guys, uh, this is now over an hour and ten minutes, so I'm going to get this video uploaded. Holy crap, this is a really good treehouse. Later, guys. Thanks for watching. Deuces. Where's Johnny?